There are so many parts of the garden that are still looking good even at this time of the year. You've got the fantastic display of the hydrangeas still flowering away behind me and this wonderful Mediterranean long border looking really good. One of my favourite salvias is Salvia leucantha. It has this lovely purple flower and these lovely delicate leaves. It's one of those that really keeps on giving. It flowers for several weeks leading right the way through into November. It needs a slightly sheltered spot, but it'll grow really fast. So you can start with a small plant, and by the, the time you get through into the autumn, uh, then it'll be of this size. So it really is a fast grower. A great plant for impact at this time of year is Tipicina aviliana. It has these wonderful purple flowers, which look absolutely stunning at the moment, and these lovely felty leaves. Word of caution though, it is a little bit on the tender side, so you will need some protection from any severe frosts. Another plant for a good punch of colour at this time of year is Strobilanthes attenuata. It has these lovely purple trumpets which really do stand out against this dark green foliage. As we move through into autumn, sometimes it's about looking lower down as you walk the garden, and particularly with the cyclamen. Cyclamen are really good for sort of carpets of colour, especially underneath trees where it's a bit more challenging conditions. This is Cyclamen hedrofolium and it has a slight scent as well. Cyclamen tend to be scented, so if you catch it right and you have enough of them, you can get that lovely benefit of the scent as well. It also has this wonderful marbled leaf, which I think is really pretty and, and looks really quite ornamental. Uh, it's set against those lovely flowers. If you're looking for exotic appeal in a garden, you can't beat the ginger lilies. This is Hedichium Devon Cream. It has this beautiful scent and these lovely large yellow flowers. Another great plant for scent in the garden are the abelias, and you can see this one just flowering above us. Great for bees and insects and the pollinators. If you're looking for added interest in the garden, then you can't beat Cornus Norman Haddon. It has these wonderful fruits at this time of the year as you lead through into autumn, which turn this beautiful vivid red before the squirrels chew them off uh, and they fall to the floor and really do give that added bonus, uh, additional to the flowers that usually sort of around about middle of May. It's one of those plants that really does shout at you as you walk down the garden because of its bold nature. If you're looking to plant a hedge in the garden, and you want something a little bit more unusual and something that will give you the added bonus of fruit, and then you can't go wrong with Ugni Molinae, or the Tazzy Berries, it's commonly known. It has these wonderful fruits at this time of year that are edible, and they taste like a cross between strawberry and blackcurrant. They also have a lovely pink bell in the summer, so the added bonus of the flowers. Autumn colour plays a key part of the tree, but at various points around the garden. This particular one is Cicidophyllum japonicum, but it also has the added bonus as it drops its leaves of this lovely smell of burnt sugar from the leaves. As they turn brown and crisp up and drop to the floor, I can smell it now as I'm standing under here. It's one of those sort of intoxicating smells uh, that really wants you to make you go and um, get your toffee apple from the shop. I think one of the things people don't appreciate uh, in a garden is how much interest and colour you get as you move through the seasons. And, and autumn is a fantastic time for the colour change in the leaves of the deciduous trees, in particular the aces. We've also got a cercis behind me. Uh, so we're going to get this lovely sort of transition from the greens and the purples uh, running through to the yellows and the oranges and those vibrant colours just before they drop their leaves. Another great plant at this time of the year for its interest with its seeds is Clerodendrum trichotoma var phygesii. It has these lovely blue seed pods which really do stand out at this time of year. It also has the benefit of scented flowers, which unusually it's flowering still on this one, uh, but they usually flower during the summer and give you that added bonus of the scent. As you can see, there's been quite a bit of progress since our last video. The walls are up to full height now. They're starting to do the capping for the slate. We've got the green oak structures up for the pavilions at this end, and with the glass frames still to come. But 
a lot of it is taking shape. The borders uh, have started to be mapped out and the raised borders have gone in. So it's great to see so much progress and hopefully within the next three to four weeks it'll start to come to an end. So that will just leave the fun bit of putting in all the paths, the beds, getting the soil in and getting it ready for planting next year.